One of the new FJ-17 Thunder aircrafts ready for induction in Benue State by President Mohamed Buhari moving on the runway. The president, who is represented by the Minister of Defense, arrives at the flight line of the Tactical Air Command, Makadi, along with senior military officers, and inspects a parade before the commencement of the ceremony. At the ceremony, which had the Chief of Army Staff, the Benue State Governor, foreign experts, and other guests in attendance, the Chief of Army Staff reveals how the new Thunder aircrafts, which are three in number, will boost the fight against insecurity. These aircraft have significantly boosted our operational effectiveness in the fight to defeat all threats to the nation and its citizens. In this wise, through synergy with surface forces, the freedom of action of insurgents and terrorists in the northeast have been effectively contained. The Minister of Defence takes a tour of the new platforms as he's briefed by officers on how they work. He then goes on to read the President's address, pointing out his promise to equip the armed forces. Hence, his fulfilment of the new aircrafts and other new military equipment on display. This induction ceremony is, almost, is also most rewarding to me because it marks another step in the fulfilment of one of my promises which I made at the beginning of my administration. That is to improve the infrastructure and equip, equipment dispositions of the, of the armed forces and other security agencies. Mobile tire bay. This can be taken to a person ground where aircraft like ATR, Alpha Jet, S7, and newly inducted GF-17 can get their way done. Although the event is more of a technical presentation of new strategies on how to deal with insurgency, the Benway State Governor Samuel Otom applauds the federal government's investment in military hardware. This kind of uh, massive investment uh, is in our security. I believe that by the grace of God, we are going to some of the security challenges that we have in this country. The Minister of Defense then performs the induction as the aircrafts take to the skies. The war against insurgency isn't over. It is expected that the military will leverage on government's continuous funding for greater performance that will instill confidence of Nigerians.